what is head hunger and how does it sabotage our weight loss journey? Good morning, friends. If you don't know who I am, my name is Jessica and I engage in conversations about weight loss, weight related disease education and how to achieve weight loss in an affordable way that honors the way we all live so I had this request today to talk about head hunger. I actually had to Google it because I didn't know what it was really. Um, it, uh, uh, I didn't equate it with, um, with emotional hunger, but it's actually emotional hunger. Um, how do we troubleshoot emotional hunger? Specifically, um, I think there's many spheres um, when we're sad and, and, and we are emotional, when we're anxious and we're actually bored, right? Now, interestingly enough, I actually had an episode of AED on sun Sunday. I wasn't sad, I wasn't doing, uh, I wasn't really in in a in a in a anxious position at all what i was doing is i was researching i was researching um information about my posts uh and what happened is is that out of boredom i was um wanting to pick and and what ended up happening is i did do that now when it comes to an ED, um, EDs don't just go away. They, you manage them. And you manage them more and more and more uh, to the point where they are less and less and less. Something that I used to do once a week, um, now I do maybe once every two months, which is, I call that a win. Now, when that week happens, when I have the ED, I know that A, my weight either go, is gonna be uh, the same, or is just that I'm going to go up. But over time, the weight loss continues. So therefore, I again call that a win or I honor that. It, specifically with the AD, not necessarily the emotional eating, with the ED, um, I have learned to forgive myself the next day. So how do I forgive myself? I let it go. I let it go. It, it's in the past. I There's nothing else I can do except it happened. I did it. I go get in the morning. I do my workout. I eat my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner to prevent for the next binging episode. Why? Because at that point in time, I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm, there's, there's no way there's going to be success, meaning that I am not gonna lose that with weight that week. I am, I am at that point in that, in that week, I am just, all I'm doing is healing my relationship with food and actually not putting myself down. Does that make sense? So that's the only two things that I achieved that week not putting myself down and try to feed my body so it won't happen again. Now, let's remove that out of the picture and let's go into the into uh, what happens with emotional eating. Emotional eating can happen if you're anxious, if you're sad, and if you're just even bored, right? Um, so what do I do? Again, I did not research because I didn't have enough time, but I think I'm just putting my personal spin on what I, f how I feel about this. So it, with emotional eating is that, uh, you know, when you're bored, when you're, when you're, you tend to, to put things in your mouth or things like that. What I do in that situation is I actually serve myself what I want to eat. And uh, let's say a cupcake staring at me. Well, I'll have it. I I'll probably split it in half and I'll have it, I'll have half of it uh, with tea. And then if I want later, I probably, I probably uh, have it an hour or an hour and a half later. Um, that helps me a lot of the times in terms that I've already, I, I had a cupcake, I added into my calculator because I calorie count. I just, not from even the perspective of that you know, oh, that means I'm going to restrict. When I am in, in the emotional sphere, I just add 
it to find perspective. Why? Because of the range, right? So my range is between 1800 and 2000 calories. Two, yes, 2000 calories. So if you, if you put things into perspective, well, what the cupcake is probably 300 calories. So I'm at 2100 calories or I'm at 2200 calories. In the greater scheme of things, it's not a big deal because it's not going to affect you so much. So really honoring your body, but also the serving aspect is more of a mental health, a mental status or mental um, a, a, a level. Because if you think about it, if you want chips, but you serve yourself one serving, that's that there's there's some discipline there, some sort of discipline, which is what I do. This is why my handy dandy guy here is the way the, this kid which i put things into perspective right you know like i'm i'm in that sphere where i'm bored like i was on sunday of course that was a binge but um uh in uh when i'm just you know working um charting doing things that are monotonous and i need and i need to put something in my mouth i will put i will serve myself a portion of what it is that i want because prior, I mean, I've been doing this for five years, so I've tried it all. <laughs> prior to this, I used to do this where I would want the chips, but I would have instead, I would have jello. Well, that did nothing because the jello wouldn't fit, because jello is less calories. Mm. So then, for example, if I wanted, um, if I wanted a cookie, I would have an apple. Well, that did nothing. It literally, all it did is delay the fact that I'm I, at some point I was gonna have the cookie, but now I've added an apple, I've added, I've, I've added all these other things, <laughs> a banana and all that stuff, when I did not want them. So just if, in my humble opinion, if you want to try something along those lines of how do you manage your emotional eating? Just have what you are, th just just have it. Have what you want, but portion it out. Portion out one portion. And then if you're, if you, like the cupcake that I do, which is, I'm a sucker for cupcakes and, or, and muffins actually more than, I don't like the frosting, but I like muffins and, and uh, the, I'm a big, chocolate chip cookie person and so I would split it if I'm if 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 I'm in that sphere where I'm like oh I can't you know I'm I'm stressing over it I'll have half and then I'll have the other half eight about an hour later but I think that at the end of the day if we're gonna put everything into perspective what I do is I have tried everything it's whatever works for you it's whatever works in terms of what what will give you that satisfaction because nothing is a straight line you are not all of a sudden going to get some insight into how to manage emotional um, into managing emotional hunger it will happen what the goal is is to lessen them and lessen them to with a point where you are saying to yourself, okay, well, you know what? It happened. I'll see you in three weeks <laughs> type of thing. And also to reduce them to where they're manageable, right? Um, so anyway, um, yeah. Um, so to summarize, I know this is very long. Um, if you are having an ED episode, which is different from emotional eating, ED, forgive yourself, continue, and do the best you can. Uh, for emotional eating, uh, portion it out and just have what you are thinking about because that's where you're going to navigate. But say to yourself, this is enough. This is enough. Okay? All right. Have a good one.